What effect did being a Girl Scout have on your life? Well, when I was a kid, um, we weren't involved as, in as many intense sports. And, and so for me, Girl Scouts was a major outlet for act, being active and socializing with my friends. Um, Grandma was my first leader. She was my brownie leader. I loved putting that badge on your vest or your, I used to have a sash. Um, that was always really fun and I know that seeing other girls with what badges they had, it was sort of like a badge of honor. Like, you know, when, you're, when your vest or your sash was all loaded up. Um, but it was also just that sense of, I did all of these things, I took all, I followed all of these steps, I accomplished this. It was a nice way of demonstrating that to the community, but also having that for yourself, to know that you did it. It's a reflection of your accomplishments. What does the Woman of Distinction Award mean to you? Well, just knowing the um, caliber of women who have been honored in the past, um, it is, it's a huge honor for me, especially because the Girl Scouts are so near and dear to my heart. Just looking at the women that I'm among for this event, I just hope that I can live up to their standard. Um, and it is, it feels like something that I'm, I'm going to continue to need to live up to. What advice would you give to the next generation of female leaders? I think my biggest piece of advice to the next generation of female leaders would be to be fearless. Um, I think, my, me personally, the things that um, I regret are the things that I haven't done because I was afraid, afraid to try, maybe afraid to fail. And I think maybe women a little more than men have that, have fear that, the fear that holds them back to maybe try something that's a little scary. Um, it's important to have role models, people that you see in those positions that maybe you wouldn't otherwise think that you could be in without seeing them and being able to meet them, engage with them, and um, knowing that that's, that's achievable.